I enter the studio and immediately begin setting up my station. Ready for another round with a midnight oh, call? Oh, here. Well, now that I know the part of the midnight. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I know they're part of the midnight line, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I didn't mean to worry you. Will it make you feel better if I tell you that's not their real name? Well, I always assumed midnight was some sort of stage name. Although talking about it makes me curious. Dale coughs and leans in. <clears throat> yeah, partridge. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could have heard that. The text is so tiny. <laughs> What? Madeline Partridge and her son, Matthew Partridge. But don't say it to their faces. Why not? Big industry secret? And nothing a little bit of time online can't tell you. But stage names exist for a reason. Ooh. Whether it's to build a character, afford privacy, or just not conflict with someone else, it's always important. So calling someone by their given name in a professional setting is rude. The door to the studio opens and a petite girl with golden hair enters. Good morning, Mr. Vincent. Is it? I trust everything is ready. The dog! Ready as will it ever hurt. be, Nicole. <laughs> Dale just went full passive aggressive. Oh my god, Dale. Nicole scans the room quickly and her eyes settled on me. Sean, what are you doing here? My job. I'm a makeup artist. Oh, I didn't know you were industry. That's not a problem, is it? Of course not. I'm just surprised. Maddie, all clear. Ah. <laughs> uh, I lean towards Dale and whisper to him. What's with the all clear? Am I missing something? Search me. They've always been like this. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just pretend that it's normal. Search me. <laughs> as soon as Matthew enters, the room feels a little colder. His gaze rests on me for a brief moment, and he eyes me with the only the faintest recognition. Work mode, huh? It's hard to believe this is the same guy who looked like he was on the verge of tears last time I saw him. Is that the mark of a professional? Yes. Shall we get started? Ready when you are. Matthew sits in front of the mirror and waits patiently for me. Nicole pulls up a chair and sits a few feet away from us. In what appears to be a gesture of friendship, she strikes up a conversation. So, Sean? Yes? How long have you been a makeup artist? Uh, I think I've lost count. It's been a while, though. Matthew inspects himself in the mirror. I can tell. Your work is very polished. Oh, thank you. Matthew nods coolly and strides off towards the photo area. Nicole pulls her chair closer to me and offers a smile. So, are you new in town? I haven't seen you around before. Yeah, just came here for college. Where are you from? Hawaii, one of the smaller islands. Oh, that sounds amazing! It must be gorgeous back there. <laughs> it definitely is. I didn't really notice until I moved to the city, though. You never know what you've got till you lost it, right? What about you? Are you from around here? Born and raised. I've done a couple of photo shoots elsewhere, but no place as nice as Hawaii. Unlike Maddie, who's already been there twice. She sighs forlornly. Is that resentment in her voice? Well. Ooh. Ooh, I don't, are we close enough to ask if she envies Matthew? Also, that might get us on her route, which we're not aiming for right now. Well, we can still be friends. <laughs> I guess, it's true. Sure, do it. I want to encourage or her. Or suggest that she'll make it to Hawaii someday, then. Rock, paper, scissors? Or do you care? Alright. Paper, Rock, scissors, paper, shoot. scissors, shoot. I have scissors. I have scissors also. <laughs> All right. Paper, Rock, scissors, paper, shoot. Scissors, shoot. I, I have, have paper. Scissors. All right, you okay. win. Boop. Hey, hang in there. I'm sure you'll make it to Hawaii someday. Well, that's the hope, but it sure seems like I don't have much mm. more than hope. You never know. My best friend became a pop star almost overnight. Lucky him. 
Most of the time, yeah. We're finished. <laughs> o okay. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Well, let's be on our way. Nicole gathers her things and escorts Matthew out the door without another word to me. Okay, love you, bye! Okay, bye. Today was a good work day. I earned $300! Mula sick, mula mula! Sick, sick, sick! Yeah! Our charisma is almost caught up with intelligence. Oh, nice. Oh, did our uh, fitness fail? Yeah, we only got uh, two. Story of my life. I head out for another jog around the campus. Thankfully, the weather is still warm. As I near the library, I see someone familiar sitting on a bench. Oh, hey. You're that guy who runs freshman tutoring on Mondays. Um... Alvin. And you're... Sean, right? Alvin! That's right. You remember me? Our last parting was fairly recent, and I do try to remember the names <gasps> of all my students. Every time I think, I look at him and I go, God, he's so cute, and then I get the reminder and I'm like, Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what are you reading? Oh, Alvin looks down at the book in his hand. I almost thought that said the boob in his hand. <laughs> um, it's a book of recreational math. Nerd. He laughs and looks at the ground. He's so cute, I want to kill I'm him. I kind of a nerd. Aw, nothing wrong with that. And what are you up to? Just exercising. Gotta stay healthy. Good for you. Keeping all the senses sharp. That's the idea. I won't keep you. See you around. Fare thee well. Oh my god. Fare thee well? Fare thee well. <laughs> I just- I hate his existence because he is so cute. And like, visually so my type. And that he's a fucking teacher's aide. And that's so no. Fuck yes. Yes, give us a job. And Lloyd, give us a job. Got hotel job next Friday night. Rock right back if you can make it. You know it. Hell yeah. And then... Oh! Oh! Sean, Sean, oh, Sean, The network will be calling us with their decision next week. Let's meet at the faux place to celebrate. Or drown our sorrows if we don't get greenlit. Either way, see you there! Okay. Okay. Can't, well, I can't reply. We're automatically it. going. Anyone into fashion? Yeah! Anyone else want to talk about fashion? It's autumn now. What are you putting in your wardrobe? Dicks. <laughs> in my wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> the short skirts at Divide are too cute to ignore. Better grab one now before the weather gets too cold to wear it. We already have domo, those. Domo, domo, domo. <laughs> All right, one dollar income, one dollar a month. <laughs> <laughs> How is our status? We have we have oh, friend we have... points. <laughs> we have friend points with the Benito. <laughs> I'm ang no. <laughs> more than John and John has more romance. <laughs> I hate John! It's because we scolded Adam or we took his ride! Oh, sh sh shit. Yeah, you're right. All right. <laughs> shit, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm so angry! I want Benito! Hey, Benito, time to reject me! What's up? What's up? Please stop rejecting me. Not much. Us. Just wondering if you wanted to hang out today. I'm pretty busy. Unless it's about work. No, just social. Maybe some Let other time. Let me work on your dick! Will that work? <laughs> you know he's 15, right? What? Supposedly. What?! <laughs> he said that! No, he didn't! Yes, he did! No, he's never told us his age! I thought he, he was joking! He, he said he was 15, and we weren't sure if he was joking, joking or not. Why are we trying to date him?! I... I don't know. What is wrong?! What?! <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm, I'm not sure if he was joking or not. I have to look it up. I can't do this. I have to look <laughs> it up. I gotta know. How old is Benito in backstage hats? <laughs> we should probably sleep this weekend, unless we want to go somewhere and try I'm to meet someone. I'm is 15! Really? Yes! On the website, that's what it says! It says it specifically says it on the website. I'm on the characters page where it has all their ages. 
Sean is 18, Adam is 18, Benito is 15, John is 35! Christ! Matthew is 18, Lloyd's 35, Ray- I don't know who uh, these other people are. Nicole is 17. Uh, I don't- again, I don't know who the rest of these fucking people are. Dale is younger than Matthew. What? Alvin's- Dale is 25! How old is Matthew? Wait, sorry, I meant John! <laughs> I was like, what? I'm having a crisis! <laughs> okay, so as I suspected when he said that his dad worked at a sake factory, um, Koyama, his last name is Koyama, so I think he's mixed race. He, uh, hi, <laughs> what is happening? Why are all the ages so different? Right, but next to each other, we have Benito at 15 and John at 35. Like, right <laughs> at Just to be like, hey, guess what? <laughs> Intense age gaps! Oh my god. Well, um, so I want to I wanna rescind my earlier <laughs> offer. Um, there's going to be no dick jumping in this route. There's going to be hair ruffling and... <laughs> Oh. It offers to wrap him in a blanket and make him a snack. Yes. <laughs> oh, Benito, why? I thought you were a college student. Well, not a college student. Like, I know you didn't go to college. I thought you were, like, at least 18. Oh, God. <laughs> I really thought he was joking when he said that, or at least I really hoped. <laughs> I believed he was joking. And now I'm like, I'm crying. <laughs> Cause I'm just so much in shock. <laughs> so what should I- we do? <laughs> uh, let's let's just sleep away the pain. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to just sleep in all day and forget the fact you're chasing after a 15 year old. (laughs) Okay, so Monday has to be tutoring, right? Yes. Okay, our fatigue is pretty good right now, so maybe exercise, uh, blog and blog and sleep. Okay, that works. Blog and sleep. Boop. Okay. We are just rolling in the muns. <laughs> Professor Koval starts the class by writing out a summary of our upcoming exam. Any questions? Yes, my question. Why is Benito 15? <laughs> a guy sitting near the back raises his hand. Will this test be graded on a curve? Professor Koval arches a single eyebrow. No. Why not? Let's say you order a steak at a restaurant, and when it arrives, the meat is completely raw. Would you pay for it? Um, no. And what if all the other chefs in the restaurant also sent out uncooked meat? Would you pay for it then? A look of understanding dawns on the student's face. No, sir. No one grades on a curve in real life. And stunningly, this classroom exists in real life. I'm sorry, what? (laughs) What is your logic, Prof? Prof! He turns back to the chalkboard and resumes writing. You know when my office hours are. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh no. What? Any questions for today? Could you look over my homework answers for me? Mm, Looks fine to me. You're on the right track. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so here's here's no. What? I'm still so I'm still so destroyed. Can we can we pretend that we just turned 18 and that he's about to turn 16 to make me feel better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we no, he is going to turn 16 during the game. Oh, okay, that's- Because this is a one-year game. 
Oh. So we have to get him a birthday present at some point. Okay. I'm... All right. I'm... Okay. All right. It's the start of a new month. <laughs> Time for <laughs> Professor Cobalt for an update on my morality. <laughs> 